Hi, it's me, Glenn, and uh, I am getting into raw food. Well, why? I don't believe in it, but I don't have a choice. Uh, I want to move one day to New Mexico, and I've already bought some land. But uh, I know I'll be extremely poor, so I'll have to grow my own food, or as much as I can, which means that when I get there, I will be eating raw. So anyways, I thought it, 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 it would be a good time to start. So, uh, uh, first thing I did was I bought myself a, uh, I think they call it a butter cabbage, and I gave it a new life. Uh, what I have, what I have been doing is eating the leaves, and it's been opening up, and this way it'll, it will help feed me for quite a while, instead of just one meal. Anyways, ah yes, I planted some beans in the spring which didn't, which did not grow. However, I did get five beans. I'll act actually, I will use these to grow more next year. Anyways, the thing is, so I did it because I knew I would be very poor and I had to cut down expenses, like producing my own energy, capturing my own rainwater, uh, and growing as much of my own food as possible, which again means raw food. Uh, well, I had a point to that. Anyways, um, so I started this and I this is my third day and I didn't expect anything and uh, I thought it was a big joke but I eventually I'll be eating raw 100% so you know I might as well it's easier if I if I am used to it when I get down there. Anyways, uh, the mor the morning of the third day, I uh, jumped out of bed, and I'm 49 years old, and I'm very inactive. Uh, usually, it takes about 10 minutes for my legs and my bones to get moving before there's, you know, b before I can move freely. This morning, I got up, I walked the dog, and I realized I felt great. So, now, that could just be a coincidence, and that's great, but if it isn't a coincidence, well, then I'm sold. Raw is the way for me. I've been eating uh, for the past three days uh, sprouts, of course, um, my uh, lettuce, carrots, uh, peppers, anything green that I can find. It, it, uh, well, the carrots are orange, but still, you know what I mean. I uh, also worked a few hours for free at a restaurant, and I said, look, just, I'll help out for a few hours, that's no problem, but you give me a whole bunch of greens I can take home, and uh, that way, since that worked today, when I am down in New Mexico, I can do that and uh, uh, you know to sort of barter for for greens and food. Um, I am also starting to stockpile seeds for when I'm there because 
being poor, I won't be able to buy any more seeds. So I'm saving as many seeds as I can. By the way, uh, the reason my voice sounds so funny is that, well, I do sound funny, but also my camera is quite far away and uh, it has a really bad microphone. So uh, I have to yell. Anyways, uh, that's my story. Oh, by the way, on day one, okay, I, I've been basically vegetarian for a couple of years. Very little meat. So this isn't a big transition for me. Uh, but on the first day of raw, I went poop four times. Uh, usually I go once a day. Now, on day two, I went five times. Today, it's back to normal, twice, but um, it's nice. It's like all that roughage is cleaning me out. You see, also, when I cooked my food, I ate so much, and people often tell, told me that they can't go vegetarian because it, it's so expensive, because they have to buy so much food. And maybe that's because they're cooking it. Last night, I was having a big salad, and after I was finished, first of all, I was full, which I'm never full. I can eat forever. But that salad filled me up. But most importantly, my muscles hurt from all the chewing. So I'm eating a lot, I'm becoming full, and full faster. And uh, this morning I woke up, and my hips felt great, and life is good. Anyways, uh, I hope this turns out. Oh, yes, the best part of eating raw, one person at work, uh, she, well, actually, I quit on Monday, but they called me back. That's why I said I would work for, you know, greens. But anyways, this one girl, she was really angry. She said, if you don't cook your food, you'll turn green. You'll die. You have to cook your food or you will die. And I told her, I said, well, before people cooked food, what did they eat? They ate raw food. Anyways, uh, oh yes, this guy, um, I told him that I was eating raw food, so I couldn't, you know, he wanted to give me a snack. <coughs> they make some great food there. And I said, no, I'm eating only raw food. His eyes went really big, and he threw up his arms, put up his arms, and he, he just stepped back. And for the rest of the few hours I was there, he did not come near. He was so afraid. So, uh, this is uh, not a diet. It is a lifestyle, and best of all, it makes you feel good, and uh, you get to freak people out. Now, strangely, I am so odd that my family, they accept it, which is good. But, uh, yeah, I think this is really, really wonderful, and um, because the food goes further, when you don't cook it, it's cheaper to live, especially when I move to New Mexico and I'm really poor. Anyways, that's all for today. Um, I should have I should have written something down. Anyways, uh, I hope I did well. I hope this help helped and informed you. And if not, at least you got to laugh at the uh, silly hippie. Anyways, 
See you later.